got uh, to play in Poland for now two seasons. Yeah. How has it been? How has been the experience? The experience has been good. I'd say, um, you know, it was um, hard to adjust to, you know, the language. Yeah, and the, the way they play, it's a very physical league. Yeah, and uh, the level of rugby is just a bit higher than what Kenya Cup is. Yeah, so the two seasons I've been there with Orkan have been quite fruitful. Yeah, and uh, I think I think if we get a bit more of us out there, we might stand to benefit from it. So, uh, in the two seasons, uh, what lessons have you picked from that league that uh, you have brought back home? I'd say, like I said before, the league is very physical. Yeah. So, in terms of my physicality, it is really it has really improved. I improved how I carry the ball, or how I defend, because. And um, they really focus on the basics of defense over there. So nobody tries to tackle high. Everybody goes low. Everybody is trying to chop your feet. Or even if it's a shoulder charge, it's all below the thighs or below the waist rather. Yeah. So I'd say um, my skill in terms of carrying the ball has really improved, which is what most coaches have been preaching for time now. Yeah. So um, having to adjust to the way they play over there and then you know bringing it back home is really. It's really, really helped, you know, and um, because when the younger players see you play like that, they pick it up as well, and it's good for rugby all round, isn't it? So back at home, uh, Homeboys has done very well, yeah. and uh, they managed to finish third. An improvement from last season where we saw several struggles. So, what has been the reason behind uh, that rise of form for Homeboys? Well, the the structures really changed at Homeboys, yeah. Um, I've not been with homeboys a lot as I've been in and out, right? But when I came back, if I could, if I, if I'm to compare homeboys from three seasons ago and homeboys from last season, it's not the same team, yeah. And um, you know, as you know, we have a South African coach. He's brought a bit. He's changed the culture at the club, you know. And um, you know, the training, the training, the training is a bit more efficient, I'd say. You know, we focused on our weaknesses. Yeah, he's really worked hard at pinpointing what he thinks our weaknesses are and he's tried to emphasize and preach his philosophy, which is more skill work and less contact, right? So, you know, the boys have been moving the ball a lot, yeah, which is which I think is what has really um, taken us from I think sixth and ninth to third this season. And um, it's pretty much just the hard work from the boys as well. And um, where it's been the preseason was an actual full preseason, you know. I have to commend the sponsors as well for actually committing and getting behind the coach. So I think, I think, just it, it starts from the top really, and the, the players as well. They were committed to this new change. So the sponsors came in. The coach was committed. He what he knew what he wanted and knew how to get there. So combine those two things, you'll always, you know, and end up successful at the end. With him at the club, do you see him guiding uh, homeboys to a uh, Kenya Cup title? Maybe one hundred percent. Homeboys has always been able to get to a to a Kenya Cup final, even winning a Kenya Cup final. Right? Uh, we've been missing very little, and I think maybe because now we have a third, we, we we got a third eye who came in as a coach. He saw what we were missing, yeah, and so far he's proved to know what he's doing. So I believe that we could actually get to the final and win the final 100%. I have no doubt in my heart that that, that would have happened if the season was to go on. Or even if it, it was to start next week, I believe that, because I've worked hand in hand with the coach, so I've seen his philosophy, yeah, this, you know, it's basics, it's basics, and at the end of the day, basics always win the, the, the game, it wins the game, 100%. So I think, to answer your question, yeah, I think, I think we stand a chance at uh, the title. Okay, going international, mm -hmm. uh, our season has been disrupted by the COVID-19, meaning that uh, we could not, uh, we will not uh, have the chance to face maybe the best teams in Africa uh, as preparation. But uh, now, maybe 2021, we will have uh, that chance. Do you think uh, that uh, Kenya has it all it takes to uh, maybe beat Namibia, who have been uh, a tough side for us, mm -hmm. and qualify for the 2023 World Cup? 100%. I've played, I've played with Namibia. I think every year since I made the national team, and we've beaten them once in Madagascar, 2013, I think it was World Cup qualifiers as well. 
one loss to Zim in the last game to qualify. But look, right now, even if you're watching the Super Rugby, you know everybody has been hit by the COVID, right? Everybody, there's no one who's at the best of their game, at the top of their game right now, right? So, do I think that we stand a chance against Namibia in qualifying uh, and uh, uh, taking a spot in France in 2023? 100%, I think we can do it. I think we can do it for for what? For about four years, for about the last two World Cups. The only team that's been standing between us and the World Cup and the qualification has been Namibia, right? Mm -hmm. And again, the, um, the management uh, the national team has changed. Right, we're under Paul Paul Odera now, and I have experience with Paul Odera. He's a very basic coach. Yeah, he focuses on your basics. You have to do things right. Yeah, I believe in his philosophy, and I think I really believe that if we, for the little work that we've put in so far, yeah, you can already see the change. You can, if you compare the games versus Zim, yeah, this like, last year and the year before that, you can see the difference. He's brought in. Young, 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 young talent. Yeah, people who are actually hungry to play the game. Yeah, and uh, he's kind of like tapping every department in the in a different kind of way, and the team behind him as well. There's so much going on in the background that I think, I believe that we we actually have Namibia this year. We actually have Namibia this year, and the only thing that could stand between us and them or us beating them is just us, to be honest, right? Because. The plan is pretty simple, he's laid it out for us, yeah, how we're gonna build up to that time, yeah. And if we're to follow everything in one accord, bro, we're gonna do that, 100%, we'll be in France in 2023. Okay. For, so, uh, as we finish, maybe the second last question, mm -hmm. uh, are you going back uh, to Poland or any other dealer, bro? Yes, 100%. Um, the, the plan is to make as many connections as possible. So if I go to Poland, I'm not going to burn bridges. I'm going to keep them open just in case they, if they want me back and I have a better deal, I can always suggest someone else. Yeah. So you get someone into that sport, yeah. and you know we grow together, right? So to answer your question, am I going back? That is the plan, 100%. That's the plan. And um, where I can't say right now. My agent is on it. So as soon as we know. Share. But for now, uh, Poland has been in touch and it looks like it's Poland. But yeah, for now it looks like it's Poland. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now you have achieved maybe a lot as a player. What are your targets as uh, you head maybe to the later ages of play? Right. Look, I've, I've dreamt about playing the top notch rugby since I was a boy. Right. That's, that's all I've ever wanted and yeah I can say that to some extent I've achieved that right having played having been at Newcastle that's 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 pretty high right but am I satisfied no do I want more one percent I want more yeah so that's the plan for now I still I still have a few a few seasons in me right I'd like I'd like to play in the prem again yeah if not, try for Super Rugby. I feel I'm, I'm a bit ambitious. I'm ambitious and I believe that, you know, if I put in the work, I'll make it there. And that's the plan. Um, after the game, definitely I'd like to come back here and develop the game from here as well. Yeah. Well, start a sport agency, get as many players represented as possible. Because I believe that's the only way we will grow. Okay. Mm. Thank you very much. Maybe final uh, word to your fans and homeboys fans, national team fans? To rugby fans in general, keep supporting the game. There's no us without you guys. So keep coming out in large numbers when we get the clear to come out. And if not, there's more than one way of supporting the team. Yeah. Look look on look look um look after the players. Um check on that player that you normally talk to. You know, for the players that uh, you know have been crippled by this COVID thing. Look, just find time, find time. Let's keep grinding because unfortunately, unfortunately time isn't going to wait for us. In 2023 or even next year, we need to be at our best. We need to build momentum from right now. Right? Do whatever you can to stay on top of the game. Okay, thank you very much.